everybody. This is Dr. Charles C. Lucas, the very proud senior pastor of Promise Sand Ministries. Welcome to the broadcast of the Promise Sand Ministries Network. And before we get started, guess what? This is the announcement. Yeah, I'm doing them. So check this out now. Share and subscribe before we get started. Share and subscribe. Amen. Don't be stingy with the word of God. Hey, you too, Britt. You too, Prophet Campbell. Yeah, come on, Dougie Doug. Come on now. Uh, KF, you at Bedside Baptist. Don't front me, right? And so share and subscribe the word of God. Amen. Guess what? T Tasha, Tasha Lucas has been bringing in some stuff. Come on, y'all. Let's go, fam. Share and subscribe. Be proud of your ministry. Amen. Amen. And guess what? The pastor don't the pastor don't uh, uh, uh don't don't get embarrassed you and I got to bail you out of jail. So hey, guess what now? Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Don't don't do that now, right? So share and subscribe. Give, right? Give, good, give the fine give, amen. You know, good, well, I'm just gonna put this money in my pocket. Guess what now? That stuff goes to revivals, it goes to the facilities, it goes to media, it goes to things that you're enjoying that God is blessing in your life, amen. So, guess what? We have a tool right now called Givelify. G I V E L I F Y. And guess what? You're going to go to the Google Store, you're going to go to the Apple Store, and you can get it on your Android or your iPhone. Amen. And when you do that, then do a search for Promise and Ministries Incorporated. And guess what? Peace Street Corners, Georgia. Make sure you put Incorporated in the back of it. Promise and Ministries Incorporated in Peace Street Corners, Georgia. And give. Worship the Lord with your giving. Amen. And guess what? He watches that and He'll bless it. You're being faithful over what God. God is giving you. Okay, next, volunteer. We've got revivals that are going to be coming up in the pipeline. We've always got that. Amen. Volunteer. Volunteer for the parking lot ministry. Volunteer for ushers. Volunteer. Amen. And guess what? God will bless you. Not just give of your substance, but give of the wealth of time that you have. Amen. Even the intercessory team that we are, that we have. Guess what now? You'll be working with Prophet Campbell. And guess what now? Um, give, I mean, uh, give your time and volunteer. If all you can do is pray for someone and you're immobile in your home, guess what? We have a place for you. Amen. Next, Wednesday night Bible study. Yay. And guess what? Now that's 7 p.m. Eastern time on our broadcast. Amen. Come in and get the word of God. You need more than one feeding of the word weekly. Amen. And guess what? We got you. And the Holy Spirit's going to speak to your needs. Holy Spirit's going to speak to your desires. Holy Spirit's going to speak what the Father wants you to do to get you back on track and keep you on track. For I know one thing. I know Promise and Ministries is anointed by God to do his work and to enrich your life. Amen. The Boaz Institute, we are on class, what, six now, cuz. And guess what now? We got ladies in. This is the first all-girl, all-woman class. And guess what? They are killing it. Amen. So just keep going. Keep your study. And then guess what? Other Boaz team, guess what? Keep working with the tutor. Keep Keep, keep moving. There you go. I like that. Come on now. Keep moving. Amen. Keep moving. This is a game changer for your life. So I need you to stay encouraged in it. Right? Stay encouraged because if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Amen. Guess what? Pray about it before you go. That's what I do before I go to the gym. Pray about, pray over um, your classes. Pray over your study session. Pray over your job interviews. Pray that God anoints your mind. I pray for you daily, but guess what? Come in agreement with the prayer that your pastor's praying over you. Uh, men and women of Boaz now. Amen. And guess what? Welcome new members. Hey, we got, you know, we got some new members. Oh, Tasha came through. We got new members now. So welcome. This is your pastor. And I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be with you to, 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 to marry you and bury you. Amen. And so that's what we do. We're hands-on ministry. And welcome here. You're here to receive the word of God. And guess what? This ministry will not disappoint. And guess what now? We say welcome home. And guess what your pastor say? Keep moving.
Okay, okay. Five. Send me, me twenty eight hundred. All right. Okay, gotcha. Five, four, three, two. This is your pastor, your boy, your homie. Um, from P thank you for joining the PC Corners Network in beautiful PC Corners, Georgia. I am your pastor, Dr. Charles C. Lucas, senior pastor, promise and ministries. And guess what? Before we got started, y'all saw the anointing announcements, right? Share and subscribe. Share and subscribe. Guess what? We're going through timely topics, things that we should be talking about in the church, but we don't do a lot of that. Amen. So that's why I'm here in my living room now, sitting down to talk to you. And we're talking about what your father should have told you. And so guess what? Share this with your friends. You know, this is relevant, especially in, in the in the um, black community, African-American community. We might not get these talks from our fathers. And so this is something that can help. And guess what? If you want, guess what? You might have relatives or children that you want to have these conversations with, but they're not going to listen because it's, it's coming from you and it's too close to home. So let me be the bad guy, right? And 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 or let me be the good guy. Let me stand in the place of that by the Holy Spirit, and then let let's get it done. Amen. Secondly, give give. We got an application called Give the Five, right? Not take the five. That's Cash App. <laughs> give the five. Amen. Give the five. And guess what? You can download it on Android, the Google Store, or the um, Apple Store. Amen. And then look up Peachtree Corner. Uh, look up Promise and Ministries Incorporated. Put Incorporated there in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. And give. Give. Guess what? I, I, this money goes straight to the facilities. It goes straight to those outdoor revivals. We had, what, about eight of them so far? And hundreds of people have been saved. It's grown our ministry from five faithful to in the hundreds now. Amen. And so guess what? It's because of your faithful giving. And guess what? Thanks for the volunteers to come out for those crusades. Amen. Those revivals. Amen. The community of East Point is more than grateful for it. Amen. And so let's go ahead and get into the word. Let's go ahead and pray and get into the word. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you, Lord God. We surrender to you, Lord. Father, you are the author and the finisher of our faith. And we call you Father, Lord, not just as some religious thing, Lord God, but we call you Father because you love us, Lord. Lord, your word says in Isaiah uh, 41 that, that, and Isaiah 43 that you, you said that we are yours, Lord God, and you love us, Lord God. Father, we receive your love, for You are our God, and we are your people. Speak through me today, Lord God. Holy Spirit, have your way. All of you are none of me. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, we are on what part, part what, 10, 11? The last part of what your father should have taught you. This is the last time out of what, two, three months almost, of almost three months of teaching on what your father should have taught you. Amen. And I pray that you learned a lot. And guess what? If you have not tuned in, you go ahead and get on. We got a YouTube channel. We're almost what, 500 sermons or so now, right? The UT. And so, or close to that, you know. And so, guess what? Um, um, continue to watch, watch this over and over again and let it heal you. Amen. And so guess what? The message Sunday was about what I apologize, right? It was it was the bitter, the tell of the bitter and the sweet part two. And it's I apologize. We talked about, hey, a lot of times that we can't move on with life because we want we, for our dad to say, I'm sorry. So God had me stand in his place in, absent, in your father's absenter or absence to say, okay, hey, look, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Amen. And so we, 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 our, our scripture was prefacing what Ephesians chapter six verse verse four. Ephesians chapter six verse four. So go ahead and turn there, Britt. I know you're already there. Come on, Prophet Cam. We'll get there. Tasha, get there. Ephesians chapter six verse four. Ephesians chapter six verse four. Amen. And it says, it says, fathers, do not provoke your children to what anger or wrath. Some translations say wrath. Wrath and anger are the same things. What does that mean? Don't don't. Don't push your children to the edge. Don't don't and then from then then when you disrespect them, then you say, um, I'm your dad, keep your mouth shut. Don't do do that. You know your children's triggers, amen. And some of you, your children are angry because you weren't there. Some of you have been angry because your father wasn't there. Some of you are angry because of the way he treated you or what he said, you'll never be nothing. You you just like so and so. You a loser. You, you know, and stuff. And so you're angry because of that, or you're angry simply because of rejection of him, maybe, you know. And so because of that, 
Um, it's bittersweet. Yes, you're growing up and you're free of that. But guess what? You're in bondage spiritually because you're waiting on him to apologize. So Sunday, we went through it and the Holy Spirit had me apologize to you in the place of your father. Amen. So we need to talk about that. What we do, how do we move on? How do we move on? It says here, Father's provoked, not your children around. So, so guess what, dads? Even if you're on the phone now, I mean, even if you're on this broadcast now and you had a problem with your wife or even your baby mama and you went and took it out of your children because you're mad I'm not going to pay child support or, 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 or because you're mad at the mama, she's not acting right, so I'm not going to see my kids to get back at her. Guess what? You're wrong. And guess what needs to happen now? You need to heal that relationship. You need to apologize. And as men, we need to sometimes apologize even when times we feel like we're not wrong. Why? Because we're the leaders, right? So we have to provoke our children not to wrath. And as fathers, we know what upsets our children, but bring them up in the discipline and the instruction of the Lord. Or some translations say, bring them up in the love and the admonition. That word means admiration of the Lord. Amen? So provoke, it says again, let me read it again. Fathers, do not provoke your children to what? Anger or wrath but bring them in the discipline and the instruction of the Lord. Our job is not, not, to, our job is not to give our children what they want, but our job or to, as fathers, are to raise them up, how God wants them to be raised up so they can be fruitful, so they can be servants of Christ. They can be raised up and know um, the way of God. Amen? They are our, when God gives you a gift, um, um, he expects you to be what we call a good steward of it. We talked about that a bit, Sunday. Stewardship means to be maintaining, amen, to take care of it, to be so gracious of it, grateful of it that God gave it to you now that you say, I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to study the word. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to um, be around other successful fathers so I can become a successful father. And guess what? You're not a successful father unless you're raising your children up in the ways of the Lord, which is by the Bible, which are which is by the word of God, right? Amen? Because it says, uh, bring them up in the what? Discipline. Discipline, now, and instruction of the Lord. That means don't give them everything they want. Discipline doesn't mean beat them physically. Discipline, discipline means correction. That means, no, we don't do this. We do this. When we, when we're in trouble, we go to the word. We give. We give God praise for what we do. Amen? Honor your mother and father, amen? But the problem is a lot of times fathers, we're asking for honor, but we are dishonoring them. And then when we when we pull their triggers or we, we trigger them, then we look back and have to be mad and say, no, you do what I say to you, right? And we're talking them all backwards and all this other stuff. Why? I don't think the Holy Spirit. A lot of times the Holy Spirit is saying the reason why is because we were done wrong. We were mistreated. We were harshly talked to. And so that's all we know. And so guess what now? Uh, as 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 somebody who's standing in the place of your father, I want to apologize to you again and understand that sometimes your fathers didn't know any better. That's all they saw. Some of them were hurt. Some of them were molested. Some of them were abandoned. So they did a whole lot better than what they than, than what they had. I know it's not good enough for you, but guess what? It's got to be good enough because someday, if you're not now, you're going to be a parent. And guess what? You're not going to do the best job. Either. You're going to do a good job, but you're not going to be. You're not going to be perfect. Amen. And so it says, don't don't provoke them to wrath. And so guess what? Some of you are are angry. Some of you are literally angry because of what you've gone through, what you didn't see. Amen. So it's time now after that sermon. If you didn't hear that message on Sunday, I need you to go back and get that talk that we had. Amen. Next Sunday, we're going to talk about a father's prayer. I'm going to pray over you as a father will pray daily. As I pray over, I pray over my sons, my son and my daughters daily. And so I'm going to pretty much share it and, and give you a glimpse of how I pray over them. And I'm going to pray over you as your father, amen, and pray blessings over you, amen. And so you got to understand that guess what? It's easy. I thank you, Lord. And, and you know what? Sometimes we're not forgiving our fathers, and they did wrong things. But sometimes, some of the words you got to consider the source. Amen. And not saying you're talking down to your father, but sometimes those words were they were. You got to consider the source. Amen. That's not the Apostle Paul talking to you. It's a broken, fallible man that's talking to you. Amen. And so, don't. A lot of times, if they did that, say damaging things, don't take it as if. That's the last word. That's God saying. 
that's a man that's been hurt. That's probably a man that probably has the emotions of the little boy because he's been crippled. And so guess what your father should have told you? Well, the last thing your father should have told you is, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Amen? I didn't contradict myself. Yeah, uh, 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 the next Sunday will be the last segment of this series, which is going to be a father's prayer. Amen? And I'm going to pray with you. It might be a short service. I'm not sure. Amen? So, so guess what? It should be, hey, look, you know, Please forgive me again. I'm sorry for what I did. I did the best I could. Amen. I was struggling with certain things. Just your father would say to you. I had emotional issues. I was young when I had you. Amen. I wasn't responsible for that. I mean, I was I was responsible, but I was an irresponsible person. Please forgive me. The reason why I haven't come back and told you that is because I'm, I'm embarrassed of myself. I'm ashamed of what I've become. But guess what? I want to tell you this. I'm proud of you. I love you. You're a much better father than I was. You're a much better mother than I could have been. And, I, and, I, and I'm and i so proud of you for that. I brag on you and I don't tell you that. I, I show you the, I show the picture, but I don't. Why am I not coming around? Because I, I'm not strong enough to face what I need to face. I'm not strong enough to face the questions. I'm not as strong as you are. If I was to speak for your father, that's what he would say. I'm not as strong as you. I'm not strong enough to face the music for what I did. I'm ashamed and I'm not strong enough. So I'm escaping now with drugs, alcohol, or somebody. I'm sorry that I chose another family over you. I'm sorry that I gave your stepbrothers and sisters and your stepmother more attention, more money spent to them, and then come see you to keep her happy. Please forgive me for that. I wasn't strong enough to fight them. I wasn't strong enough to stand up for you. Please forgive me, and I'm ashamed. And so please accept my apologies. Please forgive me for not showing up. I owe child support. I was scared the most going to put me in jail, but I still should have risked that to come and see you and reach out to you. Please forgive me. I was I was afraid to reach out because I knew you wouldn't answer my calls, but I still should have left a voice message or a text. Please forgive me for that. I was still I was still thinking of you every day. I cried myself to sleep. Please forgive me for, for not making that a tangible way. And can you can find in your heart to forgive me? And that part right there, you're supposed to say yes, amen, and move forward with your life. Amen. Fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. And a lot of you got a lot of good people in prison right now. A lot of good people who don't mean to hurt people, but they're just hurt. They're angry because their parents have provoked the children to anger. And of course, we know as parents, we know what our children's switches are. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't just do things just to set our children off because we're hurt. So guess what? If I was just speaking to place your father, again, I apologize. Please forgive me for what I did. I was hurt. I did. And it's no excuse but my childhood wasn't perfect either. So I just want you to forgive me. Amen. Amen. I know this was a short message, probably the shortest one I ever taught. But all I need you to do is roll this around. It's going to help you keep this message around in your heart because a lot of you cannot move forward without hearing, I'm sorry, please forgive me. So just close your eyes and imagine it's your, it's your biological father saying it. Amen. And allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you and say, okay, you know what? This is what I need to move on. If you got to cry, cry. If you got to yell, yell. But guess what? Receive that and forgive your father. Amen. So you can move on with life. What your father should have told you, just the second to last series, it's last message in that, which the second to last thing your father should have told you was, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Amen. If you don't know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, you can accept him now. Guess what? You have a heavenly father. He loves you. He doesn't need the Bible says he's not a man that 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 he's not a, a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent. He has nothing to be sorry for. He's treated you perfectly. Amen. It's time to, to give your life to him and allow him to heal those wounds. In, in the absence of my father, my heavenly father has been perfect towards me. He's raised me well. He's taught me to be a husband, a father, and a man. Amen. You, maybe you need to embrace 
him as your father. Amen. You ready to do that? Okay, good. Repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I come to you as a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. And I believe that you raised him from the dead. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Be with your Holy Spirit. And I will serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. I know this was a short message today. And guess what? If you receive Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, I need you to do two more things for me. Continue to watch the broadcast at 10 a.m. Eastern. Or come to our facility at 107 Technology Parkway in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. Zip code 30092. And also watch our Bible study at 7 p.m. every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. And guess what now? Also ask for a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, write the broadcast. We'll get your Bible. Me and Tim will get your Bible. Amen. Please don't be shy about that. Don't, don't, don't not um, um study the word of God because you don't have a Bible. We you'll get you will get your Bible sometimes overnight. Amen. Oh, go ahead and let's pray for the rest of the week for you. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you for this message, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. I believe it was you who inspired it, Lord God. Father, I ask you to touch your people, heal their hearts supernaturally, Lord God. Father God, touch fathers who have been hiding because they owe child support or, or just cannot cope, Lord God. Give them the strength, Lord God. I intercede for them now, Lord God, to break every wall down, Lord God, for children who have been lied to about their fathers, Lord God. Father God, open their eyes up, Lord. Father, who, for, for mothers and fathers who don't give them on lies, you that Heal them, whether they're married or not, Lord God, so that the children can be um, in a good place, Lord God. I thank you for this now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, look, this is your pastor, Senior Pastor of Problem Ministry, Dr. Charles C. Lucas, saying what? Keep moving.